In this video I tear down the Enya 414C 4-stroke. I bought this engine used and I'm going to uh, tear it down to make sure it's in order, clean it up. Now these are making uh, nice compact engines. Um, this particular one is one of the older ones the, with the air bleed carb, uh, not the twin needle version. It also has the old style muffler with the uh, exhaust pipe and, and the muffler clamps onto it. We'll take it apart, clean it up, and uh, see if uh, anything needs to be done. The drive hub just slips right off of the shaft. Let's start by taking off the carburetor and back. Uh, this one, uh, most of the engines, the smaller engines that are held on with the two screws. Uh, this one's tweaked a bit. You can see that the, the carb is offset a bit. Uh, side has probably been hit or something, there's a gap there. This doesn't affect how it runs, but uh, it can be fixed by straightening the bracket here. It's pretty easy to do. This bracket uh, uses uh, lock washers under both screws. I don't know if they're that important, but uh, every one of these engines using the bracket has lock washers under the screws. The carb just slips off. Uh, these uh, air bleed uh, carbs have an interesting feature. They have a pull-out choke. Uh, you just pull on the, on the choke, the throttle barrel, and it slips out. You can see it here. And that unseats the needle seat from, from the needle and opens up the flow of, uh, fuel flow. You just flip it over a few times and it will prime the engine without having to reach in to, to choke it or, or otherwise. When you're ready to start, just push it back in and it'll, it's ready to go. The intake manifold just pulls out of the head. In the head there is a uh, silicone gasket, basically a piece of uh, large fuel tubing that comes out. Take the valve cover off next. Oh, well, this is interesting. Uh, there's a valve cover gasket somebody made for this engine that's not normally supplied. Uh, I actually have a download for gasket patterns uh, for the Enya engines on my website. Uh, the, the grunge in here is pretty pretty common of most uh, RC engines. It's pretty dark and dirty. It doesn't look uh, to be a problem. Uh, it could be from caster fuel. It could be, uh, doesn't look like rust. It's probably uh, in fine condition. We'll, we'll look it over uh, when we get uh, further and make sure everything's okay. Next we'll take off the front end. The front end just comes straight out the, the crankcase. It can be a bit tight sometimes, but uh, generally unless it's really gummy, uh, it'll come out without a problem. It's stuck on the crank pin a bit, there it goes. The gasket is typical uh, of Enya engines, Enya four strokes, and should be there. It looks a little bit dirty, a little rusty. Uh, the bearing looks a little odd. I'm not sure if it's sticking out of the housing. Uh, crank, crank's not slipping. Bearing can probably slip out of the housing. Uh, looks like, uh, looks like it seats right into the uh, the crankcase. Uh, it's a different design I've not seen before. Uh, so the bearing is protruding about halfway, and uh, that's what lines the uh, the housing up with the the, the crankcase. There, seats right there in that bore. The crankcase doesn't look too bad. It's not too dirty. Uh, we'll go on and pull the head. The bolt that holds the rockers in place is. Uh, a head bolt. It's uh, extra long and needs to be removed with the other four that are visible. Here's the rocker assembly and uh, the long bolt that holds it in place. Let's see if the uh, well, push rods uh, won't come out here. They'll come out uh, with the head. There it goes. You can mark the push rods uh, to keep them uh, on the same side, their respective sides, so that uh, it keeps the wear patterns the same. 
I don't usually worry about that too much myself. Head is dirty, it's been run obviously. Um, maybe some leakage there, but that could be just uh, exhaust residue. Pull the cam uh, box off next. There are two different sizes and lengths of screws holding the, the, the cam box. Uh, the upper screws are shorter shorter than the, uh, the lower screws. Um, this part when you're putting it back together, so pay attention to that. There's a gasket on the cam box that should be there. Uh, the, uh, the dirt in the cam box is pretty typical of Enya engines. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, flow through there, so the uh, oil and, and grime builds up. The vent is in the bottom of the crankcase, so the only way to for the cam box to breathe is through this hole up on top. And uh, the dirt and oxidation is, is very common. Uh, often the bearing in the bottom of the, the cam drive gear is also pretty nasty. Piston uh, has some dirt. Oh, somebody's uh, been in it before. It's it's marked toward the front of the engine. We'll just push the piston out the top of the c the cylinder. It doesn't look too bad. To, don't know what kind of fuel this was run, but it's probably caster. None of the buildup is, is hard, and uh, we'll use the, the mark to line the piston up when we put it back in. Uh, we'll also mark the, the rod before we uh, separate the two. There's circlips in the piston to, to hold the, the wrist pin in. The gear drive uh, shaft can be very difficult to get out. It's often rusted and uh, not easy to get out. I have to press it out. The uh, sleeve should come out relatively easily. Uh, if it doesn't slip out, uh, some heat will, will get it out. And uh, we'll do that uh, when we get to, the, to that. The lifters just slip out either way, in or out. The bearing in the uh, cam box uh, can be removed with heat. It does take quite a bit, uh, but it will come out. I'll press the gear shaft and bearing out uh, because they do need to be replaced. The last thing I'm going to do here is to uh, remove the valves. Uh, I press down on the uh, valve keepers, the cotter keeper that is, and uh, hold it down with uh, with one one thumb, pull the cotters out. Uh, these are small parts so you have to be careful. Um, they're hard to grip and hard to, hard to hold. Once the cotters are out, the spring seat, uh, spring and, and cotter keeper will come out. Uh, there's a cotter in there somewhere. There it is. Let's see if we can see, show this from another angle. You can see the parts barely on there. If you're uncomfortable doing this, uh, doing it the first time, doing it inside a plastic bag will keep uh, parts from flying away. That exhaust valve is uh, pretty grungy. Uh, that's typical of uh, caster uh, based fuel. We can check the uh, fit of the valve uh, in the guide. Some of the engines can, can actually wear here. And this one feels okay. In the next video we'll look at uh, cleaning methods and look over the uh, main areas that need to be inspected before you put the engine back together to make sure it's serviceable. And then there will be a third video uh, for reassembly of this engine.